So this is the Silvercrest Wi-Fi video doorbell, which is currently for sale here in the UK at the discount supermarket chain Lidl for a price of $79.99. Now there's quite a few of these for sale of different makes. Uh, probably the most comparable would be the Ring doorbell uh, that have a entry model for a similar price. So yeah, we're gonna have a look at some of the features of this and see how it stacks up against the Ring. Uh, if we look at the back of the box, it just lists some of the features. Uh, like, like the Ring, uh, this is an HD resolution camera, uh, which is 720p. Uh, it says it comes with the batteries, uh, which is good. Uh, and it also comes with a base unit, which acts as a door chime. And what's particularly interesting on that is that it can also save to an SD card, so you don't have to pay for the uh, cloud kind of backup services like you do with some of the others. Uh, and also the camera's got things like a motion sensor and infrared. So yeah, let's open it up and have a look. So if we crack the box open, inside we have, oh, I'll get it out of the box. Uh, we have the unit itself, you can see here. Uh, this is comes in a white color, uh, which is good for me because I'm gonna be mounting this on a porch that's a UPVC, so should sort of blend in nicer. Uh, comes with the base unit here and also comes with the batteries. Other than that inside, there's the usual paperwork, uh, quick install guides and all that. And yeah, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. So yeah, let's open the box up and uh, take a closer look at the unit. So I finally managed to get a, the box open with a pair of scissors so we can now take a closer look at the unit. So if we start first with the video doorbell, uh, obviously has, has the push button for when someone rings, has the camera up here, uh, the infrared light and the motion sensor. Uh, if we open this unit up, it kind of slides off the uh, mounting plate. I think there's a security screw that goes in there. Uh, so we'll take that off and if we pop the lid open, uh, that's where we can put in the batteries. Just on the surface of looking at this, doesn't look like there's any sort of a USB connector or anything like that, which is a shame. So uh, if you wanted to have this connected to sort of mains power, it doesn't look like that's possible. Um, the chime unit is here, so it's got the UK plug, which is good. And a couple of buttons on here. Looks like there's something for uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi and some sort of audio button, which I guess is for the changing the chime. And the other good thing about this is worth pointing out is that the SD card, which you can use uh, for recording the video, goes into the uh, base unit here. I've seen some of these cameras for sale where the SD card is actually inside the video doorbell itself, which I can't really say is great because if someone nicks your doorbell, then obviously you're not going to find out who it was because they've run off with the SD card as well. So yeah, that's quite nice that you would keep this uh, inside and uh, everything will be backed up onto that. Uh, apart from that, it comes with the batteries. So yeah, we've got some double A's. Uh, we're going to have to see how what the battery life is like on this with the unit. Um, I don't know if I'll do a follow-up video, I'll put that in the comments. And then in addition to that, you get some little uh, tools uh, presumably this is some sort of security type screw that uh, stops someone trying to nick the, the doorbell and then some other screws for just mounting the unit onto the wall. So yeah, let's uh, start getting this set up to see what it does. Okay, so following the uh, quick start guide, you put the batteries into the device. Uh, you plug in the sort of base unit and uh, then you uh, can use these QR codes or go to the App Store for either Apple or Google to install the uh, Silvercrest app. Uh, so once you install the app, uh, you have to go through a registration process, uh, register an email, uh, put in a confirmation code, and then it will let you add a device, which you do down here at the bottom. Um, in order to add the device, you basically need to scan the QR code which is down the bottom here and then once it connects it will go connect to, to your wi-fi and then pretty much when this thing started up first time it did a firmware update and uh, yeah then it was uh, good to go
So yeah, in terms of the app, you uh, get some uh, various features. So for example here, if you click on the, the main window, uh, it would let you do some uh, replays of any recordings you've got. But in order to do that, you need to have an SD card inserted, which looks like it goes in here. So yeah, I'm going to have to uh, get an SD card for that. Um, going back into the main device menu, uh, you've got various options here. So for example, you've got motion detection, which will alert you uh, if it detects any movement. Uh, you've got a in-call mode. So when you're communicating, I think whether it's kind of uh, one way or sort of two way. A uh, battery life indicator, we'll uh, keep an eye on that to see how long that lasts. Uh, I think there's some kind of application notification settings here. So when uh, someone presses a button or there's motion detection, how it notifies you uh, on your device. Uh, night vision mode, which I'm guessing uh, we'll be switching on the uh, infrared LED on there. So again, having that on is probably going to use more power, but we'll see. And then just some other um, options here for checking the time on the device and having uh, information uh, about the device. So uh, if we just set this up here, if you want to do a live stream, you can pretty much just uh, press on that and then it will give you a live feed of uh, my desk as we move the camera around. Uh, so in here you can um, uh, pretty much communicate with anyone. I think it looks like you can do recordings live or take photos or and you can also listen to the microphone uh, which looks like the speaker option. So yeah, it looks like uh, you've got some recording functionality that will probably be saving uh, the streams onto your device. Uh, and then in terms of what happens, uh, Either when you've got the motion sensor enabled, which I've disabled at the moment because obviously me uh, waving my hand in front of it will set it off continuously. Uh, but press the doorbell. And you can see here, pretty much you, you get the chime from the base unit and you get notified on your phone. So yeah, I'll just cancel that. So yeah, so far so good. So uh, I'm going to go and uh, set this up now mount it on the front door and uh, yeah, see how it goes. Uh, I'll, I'll probably end up maybe just leaving a comment uh, in the bottom of this or maybe if there's a follow-up video because I'm quite interested to see um, how long the batteries last, whether uh, you get a good amount of duration um, on, on this. And uh, also I'm interested to see how much drain this application has running on your phone. So yeah, um, Oh yeah, so uh, as well, if, if you want to leave some comments about battery life and etc. Um, down below, then, then please do so. But yeah, I uh, hope that was of interest and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.